Welcome everyone, join us as we set sail for a timeless story of love and war, using a blend of Egyptian and contemporary music. A tale of forbidden love unfolds amidst the class of civilizations where loyalty and passion collide. Welcome to Aida. Aida is a musical based on the opera of the same name, with music by Elton John and book and lyrics by Tim Rice, Linda Wolberton, Robert Falls, and David Henry Wang. The show is based on Giuseppe Verdi's Italian language opera of the same name, and in 1994, the book rights were acquired by the Walt Disney Company for a proposed animated feature film. However, Elton John chose not to pursue another animated project after The Lion King, so Disney executives suggested a Broadway adaptation instead. Despite his opinion that opera people can be very elitist, John, along with Tim Rice, immediately signed on to the project. Now, it was Elton John's idea to develop the story directly as a musical, and a first reading was presented to Disney executives on April 1st of 1996. It took two and a half years from first reading to the first full production presentation in September of 1998 in Atlanta, Georgia. One of the many issues was what to call the musical. So in September of 1998, Elaborate Lives, The Legend of Aida, as it was then called, had its world premiere at the Alliance Theater in Atlanta, Georgia. The cast starred Tony and Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter Heather Headley, Hank Stratton, and The Little Mermaid's Ursula on Broadway, Miss Sherry Renee Scott. The original Atlanta staging conceived of play with a nearly empty set, displaying only a six-ton gold pyramid-shaped set piece in the center. Driven by hydraulic controls, the pyramid's sides and bottom could be turned and rotated to suggest various locations. However, the piece constructed at a price of nearly $10 million frequently broke down and a new production designer was hired for the restaging in Chicago. In November of 1999, Enchantment passed through the Cadillac Palace Theater in Chicago. This time, substantial changes were made. Only Heather and Sherry would remain in principal roles. Three-time Tony nominee Adam Pascal joined the cast as Rodames. Bob Crowley was brought on as the new set designer, and seven-time Tony-nominated choreographer Wayne Salento was brought on to reshape the Egyptian-inspired musical. Where one could say the production took a slight step too far was during the, the Chicago run at the Cadillac Theater. A set mishap during the final moments of the performance injured both Heather and Adam. According to an eyewitness report, while the two actors were being conveyed in a suspended box-like tomb at the climax of the show, the set piece fell from its support eight feet above the stage. As a result of both sustaining injuries, the tomb now sits on the ground where both actors would sing the haunting but beautiful enchantment passing through. In March of 2000, fortune did favor the brave when Elton John and Tim Rice's Aida, as it would finally be called, opened at the Palace Theater on Broadway running for 1,852 performances. The whole cast transferred from the Chicago run, with Heather Headley eventually winning the 2000 Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical. Since its original debut on Broadway, not only has Aida been considered by its producers to be a financial success, recovering its entire investment in only 99 weeks and generating a profit of $12 million for the Walt Disney Company, it has also seen the likes of many graces stage, such as Canadian R&B singer-songwriter Deborah Cox, seven-time Grammy-winning singer-songwriter Tony Braxton, singer-songwriter and former member of the R&B group Destiny's Child, Michelle Williams, singer-songwriter and daughter of musician and civil rights activist Nina Simone, Miss Lisa Simone, the Queen of Broadway and Wicked's original Alphaba, Adina Menzel, singer-songwriter with six U.S. Top Ten singles, Taylor Dane, and musician, drummer, and vocalist of the former pop rock band, The Monkees, Mr. Mickey Dolenz. The musical has been translated into 16 different languages. Its original cast album is certified gold, having sold over 500,000 copies. And in 2020, My Strongest Suit was covered by Lucy Hale, Ashley Murray, and Julia Chan on the first season of the comedy drama TV series, Katie Keene which chronicles the struggles of four aspiring artists trying to attain successful careers on Broadway.
Aida reminds us that love, even when faced with insurmountable odds, can leave a lasting impression. It's a love that transcends borders and defies the boundaries of duty. Until next time, folks, remember, even in the face of war and oppression, the flame of love can never be truly extinguished.